All right, welcome back to yet another video in the Unreal Engine third person zombie shooter tutorial. This is my second attempt at doing this video. So I already made a, some code. Two reasons. One, I'm a bit drunk. Two, uh, Unreal Engine 5 has some strange stuff going on for it. Uh, and three, I just, in the last one video, I spent like 20 minutes trying to figure a super easy thing out uh, that I just realized I completely overcomplicated, which is the ADS camera. So what we're going to set up in this video is we're going to set up the line trace for shooting and we're going to set up the ADS camera. I removed my logic for the ADS camera so that I can do it again, but the line trace is still here. So I'm just going to walk you through that. So basically we have our character. It's looking quite quite good. We have some good animations finally. Looking quite nice. You can swap it. Right click to aim. And when we shoot, we get a line trace going. So that's where our bullet will go. So I'm gonna walk you through it. That's just a few minutes, it's super easy. So I made a function called shoot. So you do that as well see just a new function call it f underscore shoot or whatever you want to call it and from the trigger button we call shoot this is all that's in it for right right now so it's just a line trace by channel i do the visibility for now and then uh, for duration just so that we can actually see the the line trace uh, the line trace should start from the get actor location of self not from the camera world location. I've noticed a bunch of other tutorials do from the camera world location. I have no idea why, because we want the line trace to start from our character, right? Because if we are behind something like this, like now, I can't obviously, I can't shoot. You can see that I do not hit that character because the wall is in the way because the line trace is coming from our character. We could even do it from the muscle itself. We're probably going to do that later. Uh, but just for now from the character, whereas a lot of other people do it from the camera or location of the camera. And I'm not sure why everybody does that. Like I've seen it a lot before. So maybe there's a reason, uh, so we'll probably bump into that reason in that case. So, but for now I want to do it like this. So you can see now that even if I go behind this wall, I can still shoot because I'm shooting from the camera. So that's cheating. But if you want to do that, you can do that if you want to. But I'm just going to do from the uh, character. Then we get forward vector. Then we want to multiply the forward vector with a float. And this actually took me surprisingly long to figure out because in Unreal Engine 4, you can just drag from get forward, ve forward vector. And as soon as you do multiply, you will get the option to multiply by vector. You will get the option to multiply by float and yada, yada, yada. yada. But here we just get this weird multiply wildcard function. So whenever we do that, it only lets us multiply with another vector. So I was pretty stumped by that until I realized, wait, I can just drag from here, make literal. No, this is also even weirder. I can't even make a float. So you actually have to either remove context sensitive, make literal float. So I have no idea why they don't just let you do the float from the start because Unreal Engine 4 does it. You, I, I actually use it a lot. So I have no idea why. Maybe there's probably a reason, but this float is basically your range of your shooting. And just plug it in. You could also obviously do the way I first did it was that I did a the way I realized I could actually do this was for just a Hail Mary I did. I just did a float called shoot distance. And then for some reason I just accidentally or just Hail Mary 
one of those and it worked. So then I realized I could just do a, a make literal float instead. But yeah, super weird. It works at least. So that's it. That's the shooting function. That's all it is. Super easy. So that's in the other video, that's 15 minutes. So we're down to five minutes now. So I just saved you 10 minutes. So be thankful. Uh, then we have the ADS that probably took me about 20 minutes to figure out. So I'm saving you a lot of time with this video. Um, so we're going to set the ADS up actually, because we didn't do that. So find your shoe or, or uh, aim. Uh, your aim function from the right mouse button. This is also a thing I changed. Um, because what we did in the uh, in the previous tutorial was we made a uh, event called on the client and the event on the client called this server and this server called this um, rep notifier which is aiming we can just do it from the server straight to the server we don't need a client event in between so just do the server event and that's it so what uh, What's stupid is that if I had not changed that, I would have been uh, quicker to finish the ADS. Because at first I did the ADS from here on the server event, event and didn't think about the fact that it was a server event now. So I, for the life of me, could not understand why it didn't work. Um, and I also tried, I tried it like with a timeline to get smooth. Uh, I tried it with uh, set view target with blend which i use in my other project on me main menus and stuff like that but apparently that's only for for like the level blueprint blueprint and shit like that so in the end i realized it's actually super easy just make a new camera boom so we have this normal camera boom that we are using uh, make a new one call it aim camera boom so this is just a shorter camera boom that is closer So what we want to do is, when we aim, we want to get the aim camera boom and we want to get the follow camera. And we want to attach component to component. And we're going to attach it to the aim camera boom. We're going to keep world not snap because if it snaps it snaps and that's not nice um, what we want to do here now is nothing's happening from only this we also need to actually change the follow camera location so set actor location no move component 2 so we're gonna move component 2 and the component we're gonna move is the actor or, or the follow camera we're going to move it to zero. So it's moving from, because you can see this one is zero here. But if we move it to this aim camera boom and set it to zero, it's going to move. So the zero is relative to the camera boom. I think that's how I had it. So we're just going to move it to zero over yeah 0 0.2 seconds is probably good um, and on release we're gonna do the other way around i realize now that i'm doing this on the shoot function that's that's not on purpose it should be up here on the aim function Um, so here we do the other way around. We take the normal camera boom and drag it in. And we set it back to zero. So zero on both of those. And that should work. Save all. And let's just see if that works. Yep. Do, 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 do. And a lot of projects uses a slight rotation there on the camera as well. 
um, yeah from here on out it's just you can see maybe we are a bit because we want if you use a little bit of rotation we can use make the camera actually so that it looks like we're shooting into the center of the camera so C uh, let's just see so like minus minus 10 is that too much minus 10 let's start with minus 10 let's see how that looks better you have to experiment with this uh, yeah so we probably should also probably should also actually lower it a little bit uh, it's a bit high something like that uh, and also the camera lag um, because when we're aiming we don't really want that much camera lag can we it's from here right aim camera boom. set camera lag max distance to zero no wait we can just set it hmm okay yeah because this camera boom we copied this camera boom so if you copied your previous and you have camera lag uh, because by default if you made a new camera boom it probably doesn't have camera lag because by default it doesn't so I'm just gonna set the camera lag back to zero uh, disable camera lag there Yeah, better. So there's no camera lag in the aiming, which makes sense, I guess. Because we are aiming. It's very snappy. We need to, to blend it a little bit. But you can see it's looking better now. We are actually aiming towards the middle. Uh, I think maybe... Um, a little bit more closer I'm not sure uh, higher better I want to get further out to the right don't I uh, let's check Resident Evil 2 Remake mm, Gameplay uh, Get some aiming So I'm just gonna drag it over to you so you can see Here we go you can see that he is uh, very much to the left so let's try to to replicate that um, we have time I already saved you a lot of time better right that's that's closer To the left, to the left, a little bit further down. We don't need to do it exactly like Resident Evil, obviously, but it's just a good source of inspiration. Yeah, you can set it up uh, whatever way you want to. I think we're done for this video. Um, it's not looking that nice, though. I think it's just the animation is very shaky by itself, but maybe that doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's a very shaky animation also we're not gonna be able to walk this fast so um
lines of movement speed. And yeah, another thing I actually changed, I really, I'm not sure if I told you. Yeah, I did, yeah. The, I changed the speeds of the character. Um, so now we are sprinting at 450 and walking normally at 300. Uh, but I think releasing goes back to 300, walking normally. But maybe aiming at 150 because we don't don't want to be able to move too fast while we're aiming. And maybe that makes the animation look a little bit nicer. No, the animation is still going wild. Uh, it is better speed though. Uh, I want to see. Do we have another rifle to pick up? I want to see how it looks. Uh, when we were actually. No. Uh, It's looking good. Shooting. Yeah, it's looking quite nice, right? Maybe a little bit too fast still. I think 125 is good. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, yeah, these details you can figure out yourself. Um, that's gonna be it for me. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. It's entirely possible that I missed stuff from remaking this video. So let me know if something is, is bothering you or whatever. And yeah, a lot quicker when I actually uh, actually recapped it because this was like 30 minutes otherwise. So anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.